not good, but I think it's acceptable. On the draw. There's no room for yard hate in the sideboard. Um, there probably is Brave Mustache. The the biggest issue is just like most of the graveyard centric decks are just un it's just not necessary. Um Obviously this archetype is a bit um can be a bit problematic. It's not super popular. Modern is just so broad, it's very difficult to have um, sideboard slots for everything. So by and large, what I've done is prioritize as much as possible the best and most popular and most, yeah, best and most popular decks. Um, and then the general wisdom is like that deck, um, you're just gonna beat people who are doing nonsense by having a good proactive strategy. Like, the win rate for this deck against Dredge is pretty damn good. Sorry, I'm gonna take a look at their... So they just got Force Negations. That's their only interaction in the main deck. That sucks. I'd ran three go, we died. Against Control Freak playing uh, Jun Shadow. I won a game, but uh, wasn't good enough. Oh, they can't Violet Outburst with this mana. No, no, we haven't died yet, Shauna. If they go for Living in this turn, I can remand it, and they didn't have the colors to play Violent Outburst there. They were missing... Oh, no, they did. Huh. Why do I think it's black? I think the art just looks really black to me. Yeah, well, we survived anyway. I mean, they're not the most consistent deck ever made, you know? good, but it's not. It's like this deck. It will have draws where it's like, eh. Yeah, I mean, I can't, I can't, uh, I can't win the game by sitting around doing nothing, so we Prismari Command here. Probably ditch Growth Spiral and Lightning Bolt. at 13. Maybe I should get the lightning bolt. Oh well. What did you miss? I don't know. What did you miss? When did you leave? Double Remand is definitely going to be a big game. How often do you crack the treasure for its actual use? Probably surprisingly often. Um, I, I, I don't track things like that. I, I just know that I've used it in every... Every part of this deck has been used in every way that you think you could use it. Uh, if that's... If that makes sense. I don't, I don't think, I don't think there's much in this deck that I haven't had to do or chosen to do at some point. Land? Mmm, even better than land. Yeah, I like it. I like that a lot. 
probably just gets a force negation out of them, but I'll take it. Really? Okay. Oh, they can borrow her here. But I couldn't have stopped that. bounce, right? This is fine. We just play it again next turn. Not like it's getting shuffled away. I could play it again this turn if I wanted to, but I don't. Yeah, I should have fetched first so that I could pick up... Yeah, 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 I know, Jackie. I agree. I wasn't thinking of them brazen borrowing the Ren and Six. There's definitely a small punt there. Pa, 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 pa. Okay. Oh, they're just playing the borrower? That's fine, I can kill that with the running thing. You fool! You put your borrower into play where it's vulnerable. <laughs> as long as they're not doing brand corruption with the bottom. As a. That is a statement and a half. Okay, that's good because, um... It just means I have a backup out. Because if they force this, realistically, I can't fight. I guess I could bounce my own Ren and Six. Work, work. Yes, me lord. Job's done. Got him on ten turn clock. You know it, baby. <gasps> He's flying! I can fly, I can fly, I can fly, I can fly. Damn, he's double flying. Dose. Wanted on two counts of flying. And a moving violation. Flying dwarves are a D&D staple. I'm gonna take your word on that one. Man, what is happening on their side? I guess they're only 23 cards into their deck, and there might be some backup, backup, backup thing they're looking for here. Do I just want to snap off this bolt? The, uh, the moving violation is, uh, is like my favorite joke in uh, heavy metal. Uh, who said 10 turn clock? It doesn't feel like a 10 turn clock. Somehow. Puts themselves to eight. Puts themselves to six? No. Okay. Their creatures don't have haste. Like, none of them do. Anybody like samba music? Oh, I'm just talking about if they living end... Yeah, I guess so, uh, PK, you all, but, uh, the way this is going to go down, I don't think that that's going to be the major concern. I think they, they might be forced to do it early. Because I now have lethal, right? 
which means they have to hard cast Force of Negations to beat me. So I think I'm going to go mess them up in their upkeep. I think this is over. So I don't need to move, right? Like, I just start... I, I, only, I only need to make a move when they make a move. Prefer, preferably, I want to do it on their turn. But, like, now is a pretty good time to just jam all over. I'm going to let them go with this, but... If they go for Violent Outburst, I'm just going to try to kill them. If I can get them down to three, which I can do this turn, uh, it's basically over. Deals two damage, and I create a treasure. I've got one more dwarven mine. Um, sorry, I've got two more dwarven mines. Probably pinging with Ren Six this time. Let's just draw. Let's not get fancy. I'm sorry, are you telling me? Are you trying to tell me that Violent Outburst is a terrible, like, combat trick card? I mean, you're not wrong. It's very bad at its job. That's for sure. Yes, without the Cascade line, Violent Outburst is pretty terrible. Really? Carry on. <laughs> oh my god, opponent. Do we see a concession? Uh, this is the Sims 2 soundtrack. It's actually exquisitely produced, I have to say. What? Why did they do that? I mean, we're just going to kill them. So they have four cards in hand. They can have double force. So I just remand my bolts. I uh, kill ya. Unlimited. <laughs> Do it. No, it's not Grievous. It's Palpatine. Although, Grievous would be like, Do it. Do it. All distorted and robotic. Yeah, it's, it's Palpatine. Who's Darth... Oh, he has a Darth name. I know he does. I'm not gonna remember. Damn. Can I remember? I bet I can remember. Darth. Sidious? Oh, this is okay, no problem. Okay, I got it right. I got it right before you guys said it. Alright, good, good. It's like, I think I can remember this. Darth Simplify. Well, getting one. Getting one win. Is really nice. Oh, thanks, uh, PK. You all. Yeah, I'm. Um, I try to make sure that all of the media, all the social media, etc., places where I can be contacted are all the same. You sent it to me on Reddit. Did you? I don't. I don't see any messages or anything. But I. Oh, there it is. I see. Thank you. Accept their conversation. Accept their request if you like to continue the conversation. Yeah, I got it. I got it. It's not accepting me accepting? Oh, no, there we go. Okay. Okay, I'll take a look at it once we're done with the round here. So, I'm happy with those things. I have high stand. I do not have high standards. You check out my YouTube for some of the decks I've put together. I, I, 
one of the things that's important for me is just knowing what your goal is. So before I even look at the deck, PK, what what is the goal? What what do, what do you what level do you want that deck to be at? Do is it about being competitive or is it about doing something fun or is it about a hybrid? Like this deck is a hybrid. I mean, I think it's exceptionally competitive, but it it is not. I'm not playing this deck because I think it's the best possible deck I could be playing. I think the best possible deck I could be playing is probably Blue Red Prowess, even though it has a giant target on it. I just don't particularly enjoy that kind of deck, the kind of experience that you get by playing it. Would it run smoothly? Okay, okay. So you're just looking to, yeah, you're just looking to optimize your the deck's concept. I haven't even looked at it yet. I just want to know your goal before I get there so that I can adjust my thinking to your thinking. So like you want to do the thing that your deck is setting out to do uh, and you don't want it to be too inconsistent. Yep, if they have turn three here, we're going to get got. And if they, well, I don't know that we're actually going to get got. We also have to ferry on three in theory, so kind of good. Huh, that is an excellent draw. Uh, probably should have led on one of my fetches, the Wooded Foothill, so I could get Ketri a Triumph, so I could set up for two, turn two Ren and six if we just mized into it, but that's okay. Oh, you don't have to be afraid of that. We, we don't time people out for posting things that are appropriate to the stream. If you ever want deck advice, just post away. I'm not, uh... I appreciate you asking, because I've seen other people be like, all right, I appreciate when people ask. But, um, I don't know. I'm just one of those people that, like, if you show up in a stream and you just post something and they didn't have, like, a written rule about, like, don't post links... Yeah, yeah, there are. As long as it's relevant to the conversation, I don't care how not safe for work or whatever it is, because I try to bring it up. I, I try to bring it up off the stream, like where you guys wouldn't be able to see it, so that I can make sure it's not filthy. I like filthy, but yep. Um, and uh, there's a link for that. Oop. Uh, no, no. Well, I mean, that would get you there, but there's also... There's a more direct link. I will say, because of my stream, I'm often not that good at checking and being super attentive on the Serum Visions Discord. I just... I just... I get a little... I feel like I get a little overexposed by doing the stream, and I just really don't often have that much energy to just like browse through the discord when i'm already already browsing through 50 dumps and i'm browsing through reddit and it's just like you know it's just it's just like the 18th thing a lot of the time you should fetch and spot response there fetch i should probably concentrate on this match because i'm feeling a little tired and out of it i mean i think i'm gonna do that and then just pass as long as i don't go off of remand here we're okay and now I have double. Plus, I can put Mari Command on their end step if I want to. I don't want to yet, but having to having hitting my land drops all the way up here has been very important. Okay, they are also strapping in for a long game. Seems like they do have a lot more ability to sort of sculpt their hand, which is a little bit scary. So it's time to play Maximum Don't Get Got. So. That's Shock.
second blue source. Ah, uh, third blue source. Yeah, I could have gotten the um, sacred foundry there. Shoot. It's not going to matter too much, but I could have done. Resolves. Living end? What? I wasn't expecting that. Uh, I guess I'll remand it. Pick it up. Put it in your hand, nerd. Put it back. Oh, they put it back. Okay. <laughs> How did they cast the living it? They had no mana cost. There are some things, Shauna. There are some things we are not meant to know. Fuck. <laughs> I feel like that's a lot of people with a lot of matchups, Roy. Oh, I'm against Harden Scales? Two minutes later. Oh my god, Harden Scales is such a stupid card. The thing is, the, the, the card in Hardened Scales that is so good is um, the Ozolith. That is my personal, personal belief. Alright. Let's do it again. Yeah, Ozolith is nuts. The fact that it leaves play is bananas. Wow. Okay, we're just handling them here. So how many flyers do they have? Curator and Windcaller. Okay, so I if if I go shields down and I let them combo, that's not going to work out for me. But that's fine because we, we're not required to do that. Um, I do need white mana, so let's get the trial. Or I could get no, no, because I don't want to tap down right now. Oh, I can get my Teferi through here. I bet I can get my Teferi through here. Although if I wait a turn, I can get around six. So I've got Teferi, Veil of Summer, and Remand. If I resolve the Teferi... They could go Brazen, Borrow, or Petty Theft into... thing. They have to have a pretty nuts hand to beat this, I think. I, I'm just trying to figure out how they could beat me, Shauna. And the question is, is it worth jamming? Veil then, Tef. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, actually, that's that's probably the play, huh? The, no, 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 it's not because um, then if they have um, petty theft on their turn, I have no out. Yeah, I know I can do everything, Shauna. Is it? It's the question is like, is that enough? It probably should be right. To fairy plus remand. If they hard cast force, no, if they hard cast force, it's really bad for me. Yeah, if they hard cast force, it's no good. I think I'm not going for it this turn. And I don't feel bad about it. Okay, I'm. I'm I'm not going to explain right now why I'm doing what I'm doing. I just, I don't have time at the moment. Oh, this is great.
force me now. Okay. No, I'm good. I don't need to pay for that. Nice try, though. I guess they could be playing lightning bolts. I'm choosing not to be afraid of that. Yeah, so petty theft is kind of a pain here. Just reset it and go again. Stop. Stop. Oh, okay, that's fine. That's legal. Good for them I'm not, for not shame conceding. It's a pretty high stakes event, and you had to play at least 10 rounds to get here. There's the shame scoop. Um, I'm just going to grab a little bit of food, y'all, but we are now 3-1. Um, I'm guessing the Karn scoreboard probably made the top right corner a little messy during that match. Uh, I don't really have a good way to fix 